there is a star in the sky that is dying before our eyes. It's not just any star, it's one of the largest ever known, a colossal flame that has lit up the constellation of Orion for millions of years. Its name is Betelgeuse, and it is about to stage the most breathtaking spectacle the universe can offer, its own death. If Betelgeuse were in the sun's place, its size would be so absurd that it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. It is a star so gigantic it defies our imagination, a true cosmic powerhouse on the verge of going dark. And when that happens, the entire universe will notice. For millennia, it has shone like a reddish jewel on Orion's left shoulder, the hunter of the night sky. Ancient civilizations gazed at it in wonder. Egyptians, Greeks, and Arabs mentioned it in old texts, without knowing that one day the same glow that guided navigators and inspired poets would mark the end of a stellar era. But Betelgeuse is changing. In recent years, astronomers around the world have observed something strange. The star's brightness began to fade. Between 2019 and 2020, it dimmed so much that it seemed to be vanishing before our eyes. For a moment, people believed the collapse had begun, that the supernova was about to happen. But surprisingly, Betelgeuse brightened again, as if it had fought off death itself. What actually happened was an ejection of part of its surface, a gigantic dust cloud that broke off and blocked some of the star's light. In other words, Betelgeuse coughed cosmic dust. It was a reminder that it is in the final chapters of its story, unstable and unpredictable, preparing for the inevitable end. To understand what's coming, we have to look inside it. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, an advanced phase in the life of a very massive star. When a star like the sun ages, it swells and becomes a red giant. But when the star is dozens of times more massive than the sun, the fate is far more violent. These stars live fast and die young, and Betelgeuse is only about 8 million years old, a blink of an eye on the cosmic scale. At the heart of this star, there is a constant battle between two forces, gravity, which tries to collapse it, and the pressure of nuclear fusion, which pushes outward. As long as nuclear fuel is abundant, the balance holds. But as hydrogen runs out, it begins to fuse helium, carbon, oxygen, and finally iron. And that's the point where fusion stops. Because iron consumes energy instead of releasing it. When that happens, the star loses the internal support that keeps it alive. That is the instant when death begins. The core collapses abruptly and the star's outer layers fall onto it at unimaginable speed. Pressure and temperature soar to extreme levels until the explosion happens. That will be Betelgeuse's supernova, an energy release so intense that for a few weeks it will shine brighter than the entire galaxy combined. Its glow may be visible even during the day, outshining the moon. Astronomers estimate that when it happens, it will be the most spectacular event ever witnessed by modern humanity. But here's the most curious detail. It may already have happened. Betelgeuse is about 640 light years from Earth. That means the light we see today left there in the 14th century, when castles, knights, and medieval kingdoms still existed. If it exploded in the year 1400, we will only see the flash now. Perhaps, at this very moment, the light of its death is already on its way, crossing the emptiness of space toward Earth. It's an almost poetic idea, the universe showing us the past in real time. But what will happen when the glow reaches us? First, the night sky will change completely. For a few weeks, Betelgeuse will be the brightest point visible in the firmament. Observatories around the world will point their telescopes at it. Astronomers, amateurs, and the curious will follow the spectacle of a star ceasing to exist. And unlike what many think, Earth will be completely safe. Despite the magnitude of the explosion, the distance is great enough that no dangerous radiation will reach us. For us, 
It will be just a cosmic show and a unique opportunity to study a supernova so close by. After the explosion, what will remain is an ultra-dense core, a neutron star with more mass than the sun compressed into a sphere the size of a city. If it spins rapidly, it may become a pulsar, emitting beams of radiation like a cosmic lighthouse, rotating dozens of times per second, and the rest of its matter will be hurled through space at absurd speeds, spreading heavy elements, iron, nickel, gold, platinum. These elements will travel through the cosmos, mixing with clouds of gas and dust, and, over time, they will form new stars, new planets, and perhaps, new forms of life. It's curious to think that everything in us, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, the gold in our rings, came from stars like Betelgeuse. We are literally made of stardust. And when it dies, it will only be continuing the cosmic cycle that created us. The death of Betelgeuse will, in fact, be an act of creation, a violent event, but a necessary one that recycles the matter of the universe. Every supernova is a seed that spreads the ingredients of life. And when it finally explodes, it won't be an end. It will be a new beginning. Until then, we keep watching telescopes record its pulses, its temperature, and even small variations in the star's shape, which seems to throb like a tired heart. With each luminous beat, Betelgeuse reminds us that the time of stars is different from ours. They are born, they shine, and they die. And each one tells a story that spans millions of years. To us, Betelgeuse may feel eternal, but in cosmic terms, it is in the last seconds of its existence. And when the time finally comes, we will witness a spectacle that redefines the word grandeur. Imagine looking up at the sky and seeing a new point of light, so bright it casts shadows at night. It would be the last breath of a giant star, a farewell that crossed space for centuries to reach our eyes, a reminder that even the universe, in all its immensity, is driven by cycles of life, death, and rebirth. When Betelgeuse explodes, perhaps scientists will celebrate, poets will be moved, and the curious will stop to admire the sky. But, deep down, we will all be witnessing something greater still. The certainty that the cosmos is alive, dynamic, and infinitely creative. Because the end of a star is not a tragedy. It is a reminder that everything is in transformation. And that even death, in the universe, is just a different way of continuing to exist. So, the next time you look at the constellation of Orion, Look for the red point on its shoulder. It's still there, pulsing, giant, tired. And remember, when it disappears, the sky will never be the same again. If you want to keep exploring the mysteries of the universe through stories like this, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it. Here, every star has a story, and every story takes us one step closer to infinity. Thank you for watching. See you next time.